Your mind is about to be blown, because black holes have captivated our imaginations for ages, lurking in the cosmic abyss like intriguing puzzles begging to be solved. Yes, the groundbreaking James Webb Telescope has now observed what lies within a black hole. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z, subscribe to our channel and follow us as we delve into this cosmic mysteries. It is true that the extraordinary adventure uncovers the long-hidden secrets buried in these celestial mysteries. Astronomers were blown away by the results of the James Webb Space Telescope when it was first built to reach the ultimate frontier. This enhanced scientists' and multiple research teams' confidence in the telescope's excellent sensitivity and high resolution. As a result, it was used for more missions, such as revisiting prior missions or observations made by previous telescopes. The extraordinary optics of the James Webb Telescope awed the scientific community every time it stared into space. However, until the James Webb Telescope was told to look inside a black hole, it had all been a wonderful journey of amazing discoveries. The entire experience began with the discovery of the universe's oldest black hole by the James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers were ecstatic when they discovered this terrifying phenomenon, which is a cosmic monster 10 million times more massive than the Sun. The supermassive black hole at the center of a newborn galaxy was discovered 570 million years after the universe's inception by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has powerful cameras that allow it to peer into the last frontier that dates all the way back to the very early phases of the cosmos. Since the monster's discovery, several black holes that grow to unfathomably vast sizes at the cosmic dawn have been suggested and speculated to be the origins of the monster. This epoch began approximately 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still expanding and had a billion years to shine. Huge black holes are common in the universe, but astronomers and physicists don't know how or why. According to Rebecca Larson, an astrophysicist at the University of Texas, this black hole did not appear out of nowhere. As a result, the cosmos should contain more than just younger and older. She argued that we are only now beginning to examine this time of cosmic history. When enormous stars collide, black holes form and they begin to consume gas, stars, dust, and other black holes in order to grow. In the case of some hungry spacetime ruptures, the friction caused the material to spiral into their moors, where it heated up and produced light that observatories could detect, converting them into the so-called active collecting nuclei AGN. The most extreme AGN are quasars, which are supermassive black holes a million times the size of the sun and release their gaseous cocoons with a light burst much brighter than the brightest stars. Because light travels at a constant speed across space, the deeper scientists and astronomers go, the more distant light they cut off and the farther into the past they can see. Researchers and astronomers scan the sky for the black hole using the James Webb Telescope's mid-infrared instrument and near-infrared camera. They also used spectrographs incorporated into the camera to separate the light into its constituent frequencies. After studying the weak glimmers relayed from the universe, scientists and astronomers discovered an unexpected spike in the frequencies contained in light. This was an important indicator that the heated material surrounding a black hole was emitting traces of radiation. This sparked a thinking across the universe on how black holes came to spread across our early cosmos, leaving it a mystery. There are now various groups of astronomers and scientists searching for younger and suspected primordial black holes, which are theorized to have formed prior to the Big Bang. They have, however, eluded astronomers, who were forced to join with the organization that developed the mid-infrared equipment in order to look for a stronger signature of light from a distant galaxy. Yes, they did this to see if they could learn more about how the strange black hole at the center of our universe arose and if they could make any new discoveries. Another team, on the other hand, persisted in using the James Webb Telescope to learn more about black holes, particularly supermassive ones. After discovering the universe's oldest black hole, the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered another supermassive black hole that contains materials that astronomers and scientists never expected to see. The James Webb Telescope has finally seen what is inside a black hole. 
The most powerful telescope in the world detected a carbon-containing chemical known as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons PA in the core of three active galaxies. Scientists were perplexed not only by the discovery of these carbon-containing molecules, but also by the location in which they were discovered. These carbon-containing molecules were discovered in areas where scientists did not believe they could exist. Molecular research also found that the supermassive black holes in these galaxies surrounding radiation significantly affected the compositions of the PAWs. This may make it more difficult to compute star formation, which may limit the use of stars as biological building blocks. A group of astronomers reviewed the data of three active galaxies made by the James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared sensor. The three galaxies are NGC 6552, NGC 7319, and the well-known Stephens Quintet, all of which are 311 million light-years away in Pegasus. NGC 7469 is also in Pegasus, however it is around 200 million light-years away. The chemicals known as PAWs are formed up of carbon atom rings. Carbon atom rings can be found all over the universe, from comets in our own solar system to distant galaxies. Because of their pervasiveness, they serve as both critical traces for star formation and key building blocks for life. PAWs emits considerably in infrared wavelengths when exposed to ultraviolet energy in starlight, which MIRI can detect. As a result, any time astronomers and scientists discover pod in this fashion, young hot stars are almost certainly nearby. A supermassive black hole at the heart of an active galaxy would now consume all pod molecules. According to observations, the central portions of all three seen galaxies had more pathways. However, it was later revealed that the emission was caused by larger, electrically neutral PA molecules, proving that radiation did indeed destroy smaller, electrically charged PAs. The larger PA molecules may have survived because they were suffocated by dense molecular gas clouds during the interaction. Astronomers are concerned about the elimination of these tiny electrically charged channels because they rely on them to identify indications of star formation. In terms of evolution, astronomers and scientists were dissatisfied with the findings and continued to look for more information that could explain certain events. The singularity in the center of a black hole, which is the proverbial no man's land, is one such phenomena. In this region, the sense of space and time completely vanishes as masses flatten into an unlimited number of microscopic points. However, because the singularity did not exist, scientists were forced to devise a replacement for the phenomena that gave rise to so many possible possibilities. The first possibility was that matter would exist in the smallest conceivable configuration known as the smallest possible volume pocket, rather than being crushed to an indefinitely small point within a black hole. The Planck star is a hypothetical possibility that proposed the concept of loop quantum gravity, which is itself a very speculative hypothesis for producing a quantum form of gravity. In the realm of loop quantum gravity, space and time have quantized dimensions. Although the universe is made up of little, discrete components, our journey appears to be smooth and uninterrupted. This potential chunkiness of space-time has two benefits. First, it fulfills quantum physics' ultimate objective of naturally explaining gravity, and second, it prevents singularities from occurring inside black holes. As matter squeezes under, the immense gravitational attraction of a falling star meets resistance. Due to the discontinuous character of space-time, Mata cannot move beyond the Planck length, which is 1.68 times 1,035 meters. This results in the compression of every matter that has ever entered the black hole into a minuscule but not infinitely small ball. A black hole takes billions or trillions of years to erupt, despite the fact that they are only temporary due to the massive time dilation effects surrounding them from our perspective in the outside universe. The Grava star, in addition to improving quantum gravity theories, is another notion that challenges the singularity theory. However, a Grava star and a black hole are not the same thing. As a result, the difference between a Grava star and a black hole is that the former has dark energy that extends space-time rather than being a singularity dark energy. 
Despite the fact that this concept may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, dark energy is indeed at work in the larger cosmos, hastening the growth of the entire cosmos. Gravistars seem and function like conventional black holes outside of that surface, but the event horizon of a black hole is a point beyond which nothing, not even light, can pass. If you find this video interesting, click on the subscribe button. As we continue to investigate this phenomenon, physicists such as Joseph Polchinski, Ahmed Almhiri, Donald Merolf, and James Sully work together to establish the black hole firewall hypothesis, also known as the AMPS firewall. According to their calculations, the event horizon may theoretically morph into a gigantic wall of fire, with anything that comes into contact instantaneously catching fire. This suggests that there is no escape from black holes because nothing is ever visible. This contradicts Einstein's general theory of relativity, which states that if a person or item crosses the event horizon, they will be in free fall and will not be affected by gravity in any way. According to the equivalence principle, crossing the event horizon would result in no considerable difficulty for either a person or an item. What are your thoughts on these black holes? Do they shed light on a location that astronomers and scientists have yet to discover? Do you want to learn more about the discoveries of this massive spacecraft? Then why not subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. Thanks for watching.